everybody, welcome to the party. My name is Drunk Rat, and we are going to be playing one of my favorite games, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Uh, we have just recently finished off Metroid Prime 1 on stream. It was a blast to play. Uh, however, given it has a remastered version already out there, I figured that this is the game that most people uh, will have a little bit more of a hard time uh, seeing in action. So let's go ahead and see what this game brings to the table. So right now we're operating in our bounty hunter slash mercenary capacity. Planet called Ether, the Dasher region. I feel like oh, we didn't see any references to to this planet in Metroid Prime One. I don't believe in the um the big planetarium room. So. Basically, we were we've heard that there was a uh, group of Federation Marines uh, in trouble on this planet, and we're sent to go give them some aid. But this planet doesn't look right. That's not good. I like the updated design of Samus' ship. I love this game. I'm so excited to share it with you guys. We are going to be trying to 100% it as we did with Metro Prime 1. Uh, however, it's not imperative that we pick up every little thing. I am I'm going to try. Uh, but we're also going to try to spend a little bit of time running your ship to, uh, ship to save the game and restore your energy. Yep. Uh, we're going to try to spend a little bit of time also explaining the game and explaining the universe and why certain things are happening uh so we have just been sent to this planet to find something going on with these uh federation with the federation they have a, a bit of a spot of trouble here in our very first scan of the game samus's gunship uh starship hunter class gunship vehicle vessel registered to samus aran your ship has been damaged auto repair function initiated you can return to your ship to recharge energy, reload weapons, and save progress in the game. There is more detail in the logbook, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So right now we have our double jump. We've got our charge beam. We've got missiles. I've only got five of them, so I've got to be careful about that. And let's see. We got our morph ball. Very nice. And also... Uh, ah, boost ball. Nice. Okay, yeah, this is something that... They've made some changes to since Metro Prime 1. So this is blocking our way. Let's go ahead and uh, scan it. It says the object contains uh, large quantities of acidic fluid. Fluids may be used uh, by the indigenous bioforms for digestive purposes. However, we can use it to get through the obstacle. Nice. What if this actually damages us? It does not. Thankfully, that's good. Uh, there's a power door system, low level energy shield on the door to prevent activation by local creatures. Weapons fire of any type will disrupt the shield and open the door. Now, one of the things I love about this game is that it actually uses a sort of seamless loading process by which it loads in the next areas. Uh, the way it does that is by when you fire on the door, it doesn't open the door until the next area is loaded in, but it knows to load the area because you fired on the door. So I think that's just a, a good way of 
of, of uh, hiding the loading screen, so to speak, and also the elevators and things like that. But those are always, always there. We do stream these Let's Plays live. Uh, I will be attempting to uh, not be engaging with the community as much when the game is in action, but whenever we are paused, that will be the time when we get to uh, hang out and have some communications. Uh, so we've just jumped down into a one-way cave system, it looks like, and looks like this uh, these systems installed along the edges of the cave we're part of a ventilation system, but they're currently dispersing pesticides. And the pesticides in the air are actually pretty heavy. And there's the reason why. Uh, terminated bioform scan complete. Codex genome match splinter. So apparently this is something that Samus has come into contact before. Source of termination was inhalation of the pesticides. There's bodies. Bodies and bodies and bodies. Stacks of, of splinters. This is... This looks like it wasn't a wasn't an ideal spot for the Marines to have landed. Uh, we've also got a bunch of crates, a bunch of uh, storage crates that probably had had gear that they were using. We're gonna go ahead and pick up our stuff, some missile ammunition. Get our get our our missiles back up to the par. Now it looks like there's bodies everywhere for those uh, those splinters. Moving further in, there is a gate, and it looks like the uh, the gate is damaged, but we are going to be able to destroy the locks holding it, holding it up. Everything's really dark in here. A terminated bioform scan complete. Uh, splinters. Creature was hit by an unusual amount of weapons fire. More than necessary to kill it. Interesting. Inverted cargo pod gate. So it looks like this cargo pod is currently blocking our passage and it's got some electric wires uh, leading from it uh, down into the wall over here into... Ah, there it is. Got ourselves a uh, control system. Okay. So we were able to get past here and so far I haven't seen any of the Marines yet. Looks like they've set up a sort of control hub in this area. Okay, we've got a map. Map icon. Communication system offline. Analysis indicates wiring damage in three crucial areas. Local hostiles are likely the source of the damage. Unable to repair the system. So, seems like they're having a lot of problems with the splinters in this area. You'd think that they, they wouldn't want to, to set up a base in such a hostile conditions. Several gates have taken considerable damage from the hostile forces. Repeated assaults may lead to a gate breach in chambers A and C. It's not great. Ventilation systems conversion complete. Dispersing dispensing of pesticide has commenced. Pesticide is proving effective. Hostile forces are decreasing, though still at critical numbers. Yeah, that's seems to be a problem here. And what do we got over here? This is a casualty report, Sector A. Three troopers lost. They were unable to open gate A1 when a gas trap was engaged. But not escape to safety. Lock malfunction is to blame. So these, these gates that they're using to block off passages seem to have some malfunctions that are causing them to uh, be put into a bit of danger. Okay, so this area seems to be a little bit more extensive than we initially thought coming in. A cave system going down uh, down this pathway. It looks like a little bit further in, we are going to reach the command chamber. Hopefully, we can link up with the Marines when we get in there. And hopefully, they haven't taken on too many losses before we get there. All right, continuing on. That's not a good sign. Recording to logbook. 
Morphology, worker splinter drone or of the splinter hive. Low threat target, generates webbing for use in its duties. Worker splinter is bred for service, not combat. It spends its time collecting food stuffs and raw material for the hive. A layer of mu mucus helps it to protect it from the toxins and chemicals it often works with. They can generate a sturdy pliable webbing useful in travel throughout the hive. <sighs> Count one, two, three, four, five casualties. Terminate bioform scan complete. Codex genome match standard human. And dedicate this trooper died in cardiac arrest. Died of cardiac arrest. Uh, chemical levels in the body suggest a state of extreme <sighs> fear at the time of death. Terminate bioform scan complete. Entered human cause of death. Difficult to determine. Digestive fluid present within the armor. <sighs> Don't shoot the body. Hard for me to lock onto the the webbing. Threats have been eliminated. Recording to logbook. Corporate Bennett. There's something wrong with the lock systems in this section. They failed twice, locking us out until someone came along to let us in. If this happens again while we're playing bait for those things, well, at least we'll go out fighting instead of hiding in the control area. Bennett presents a very accurate assessment of the situation. These these doors, they're they're too unreliable. It seems like they've led to more deaths than than they saved. I don't like this plan. This hive is a small portion of a larger network. There there may be dozens of hive systems like this across the planet, and they may all be linked. Destroying this one might buy us time, but it may also provoke the other hives into attacking. Well, I can understand his reasoning. I, I can't agree. If, if you don't secure the area, you're not going to be able to, to, to set up a base and, and, and actually make a stable uh, base of operations. I, I, I disagree, but I understand his fear. There are life signs. So right now, en enemy movement analysis complete. Attempt to block enemies have been in vain as the enemy units simply bypass the gates and shields by burrowing through the earth nearby. But right now, we're being blocked for uh, for progress. The uh, the gate is. We need to we need to open this gate. Air panel offline, unable to access the gate controls. Throw the power to the system. So that we're currently unpowered. This is. Another example of these these being a very unreliable system. I, although this place looks like it was just put together very rapidly, they, they probably didn't have time to set up a more reliable and capable system. Get to reach multiple areas. All unit on full alert. DNC center has been compromised. Repel invading hostiles at all costs. All units cleared to engage. It looks like being in the control center wasn't enough to keep them safe. <sighs> A waste. Terminated bioform scan complete. Splinters. There was a termination blunt trauma to critical areas. Evidence suggests these biofarms were eliminated in close combat by unarmed troopers. 
Under these uh, targets were terminated by a variety of trooper weapons, unknown biochemical residue present on their exoskeletons. Further research recommended. Interesting. Okay, we found ourselves a bomb slot. This actually might be able to, might be of use to us. If it's connected properly to the panel back there, we might even be able to power it. Dr. Senj reporting. Uh, I've installed one of the ship's reserve power cells here. It's holding so far, but too much activity could knock it offline. I hope we don't come to that. There we go. All right, we've activated the panel. Whoa, what? What is happening with these? Soldier, are you, 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 weapons, weapons down. What are you doing? Apology, dark trooper, deceased Galactic Federation trooper. Eye scans indicate terminated life signs in this trooper and the presence of an unknown biomass with parasitic tendencies. Though the trooper's armor has been compromised, the bulk of it remains intact. Damn. Weapon systems remain online as well. Low parasitic fusion has yet to be obtained, resulting in low agility and response time. All threats must be neutralized. Sorry to have to do this. What happened to the troopers back in the command and control center? Damn. They're not very accurate with weapons. Go ahead and scan it. Zero panel online, gate control system restored. Very nice. All right, so we should be able to proceed now. We have to watch out for more of the dark troopers. Just cover if you can. Luckily, they aren't very agile. It's just very disconcerting to Take up arms against those I came to protect. Trooper? No. Incomplete. Unknown dimensional anomaly. Anomaly appears to be a dimensional rift. The target destination is unknown. We have to follow them. Is this ah that feels weird
I do love how metallic and weighty her suit feels in this one. It really did a good job with with giving you more an understanding of what it feels like. Chozo battle suit version SA1 alert gear stolen by unknown creatures. Space jump thrusters offline. Grapple beam launcher offline. Morph ball boost unit offline. Power bomb generator offline. I can't even generate any regular bombs. Missile launcher off. No. Power bomb module failure. I still have my charge beam at least. What the hell was that? Was that? There was a another entity in a similar battle suit. Samus's recent activity on Talon 4 uh, with engaging with the Metroid Prime did result in her losing her phase on suit, but well, could someone have found it and repurposed it? And what was that? What were they doing? They were in this alternate dimension or this other plane and all of those creatures and they were standing in front of what looked to be Phazon and that that just that can't be though we we that was from the asteroid on Talon 4 was where where that Phazon that we saw there was coming from I what were those creatures that stole all of my gear I Bios, unknown bioform, zero life signs. Evidence suggests the target was caught in power cell explosion. Cellular breakdown from radiation exposure present in 72% of the biomass. Well, that would explain its death. What about the other one? Bioscan complete. Zero life signs. Cause of death, cardiac arrest due to electrocution. But as well. Ensnared in the wiring, but... I wonder if that caused issues for the... The equipment connected to those wires. Malfunction, you know, offline. Yeah, the <sighs> great. Well, let's look around for controls. Well, at least we have a path out of here. I don't think I have the capacity to destroy this anymore. It's not as I am. Caloric ally. Combat damage has destabilized the cab considerably. Yeah, Teloric Ally, that's something that I could normally destroy with my Morph Ball bombs, but for now, can't do anything. Oh. All right, well, at least the charge beam is still able to do significant damage. this trooper. <sighs> this is good. At least I can get my, my shield energy back up to full. Although I think it was up to full. I just need to... <sighs> I need to focus. I need to understand what is happening in this place. So far, based on the casualties, I don't even know if any of the Federation are still... We haven't found everybody yet. We haven't... We haven't confirmed. We need to confirm. <sighs> I think the only thing we can really do is carry on. At least it looks like we're coming to an elevator, so we're going to get out of this dank cave system. Elevator oh, even back online. Good. Seems to be... Seems to be powered at least. But if it loses power when we're part way up, we gotta be careful of the possibility. Okay, we made it all the way to the top. And judging by the map, this actually leads back to where we first came in. But these this door is something I've never seen before. It's 
seems to have a control interface that I'm unable to interact with. Untranslated alien text. I need to find a way to interact with that before I can go through. I don't think I could even damage it. Let's see. Can I scan this? Okay, it doesn't. It's just a uh, security lock. <sighs> well, we've made it out of the cave system and good to have fresh air. Now the sky isn't as volatile as it was earlier. It's concerning. It looks like this heavy transport crate is connected to a winch. If I'm able to interface with its controls, I might be able to move it and get it out of the way. There we go. Unfortunately, without my space jump boots, I'm unable to clear obstacles such as that. That might present a bit of an issue. <laughs> Splinter cocoons. Destroying the structure will eliminate, but also alert the other splinter. What's this? A green Crayley. I feel like I've seen these before. Hunter gatherers. They seem to be low threat. At least I don't have to worry about them. still present a threat if you're too close to them. Right. Okay, it looks like we'll be able to, uh, unlock this bridge in the same way as we've unlocked the previous gates. That wasn't too difficult. Alrighty. We had to keep, keep up the hope. Keep up the hope. Keep up the hope. Marines could be fine. This is a very odd shaped door. I don't know if I'm comfortable. Although it seems to end. Oh, no. Veroni. I think Haley's losing it. He talks to himself all of the time and he won't sleep. He, he almost shot me on watch the other night. I think he thought I was one of those things. I talked to the doc about taking him offline, but he told me we need all the help we can get. That is true, but if he goes berserk and kills a bunch of us, I don't think that's going to be very helpful. Good observation. This is just the nutrient grade material. This isn't another cocoon or anything. Okay. The rock fall seems to have blocked off this entrance, but at least there was a tunnel that we can pass through. What the hell is this? Motivator is functional, but requires power. Carbon can't energize this statue. Well, something we'll be able to, but we need to find that something. Well, we found a structure. Looks a little bit more involved than the Marines makeshift base. This is a splinter, and this is what they look like. 
They're aggressive and dangerous in numbers. Their light armor is no match for my weapons, however. That's good. Okay. Are there any cocoons anywhere? I know this is going to be a bit of a problem. Currently locked in place. Control panel nearby. And to lower the tank. There is a control panel at least. Oh, jeez. Well, at least they're not much of a threat. In groups, they might be, but as they are, not so much. Okay, that's what they look like. Well, let's continue on. I don't think we're getting in this way. Damn. Burnt out the winch. We might be able to shoot that wire to cause some damage. Okay. At least we were able to get past it. But unfortunately, now if we ever need this winch again, if we ever need this whole system again, I don't think we'll be able to engage with it. Let's carry on. This gate, it's very durable. However, it is comprised of densium and IELD explosives might be able to that's good at least we know that and this is also denzium okay so if we get some high explosives we might be able to do something here what is this gate security protocol initiated you are clear to proceed some gates will remain locked down to prevent future incursion the logic is sound but looks like i'm no longer able to go backwards So, unfortunately, until I'm able to clear this jump, we only have one direction to go. Well, we've gotten out of the caves. The cave system was really a, a, a very hazardous location. Splinters control the troopers and... And what was that? That was a a dark version of Samus and an entire dimension with those other creatures. We lost a lot of gear, but we kept our lives. And that should be enough to keep us going forward. If we can continue to uh, find out what happened around here, maybe link up with the rest of the Marines if there are any, then we might be able to get a hold on what's going on in this place. And what drove them to land here in the first place. I guess we'll see that next time. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Drunkrat. I'm here streaming five days a week. And we're going to be trying to get out this uh, this game. I'm going to try to get this out to you, everyone, uh, as quickly as possible. It's, it's a great game, and I highly recommend playing it. See you next time.